Good afternoon, everyone. It's David Schlotthauer here with another detailed tropical weather outlook and discussion for Tuesday, September the 16th, 2025. In this tropical weather update, we are keeping a very close eye on Invest 92L as it rapidly organizes this afternoon with a 90% chance of tropical development. But the big question is, how close will this get to the Leeward Islands or will it impact the Leeward Islands at all? And could this impact Bermuda as a very intense hurricane? All those details in this video. Now, of course, if you haven't been here before and you do find these tropical weather outlook and discussions very helpful, detailed, informative, and life-saving, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell notification icon to get daily tropical weather updates and live streaming coverage on the tropics, especially if there's a landfalling hurricane or tropical storm near you please hit that like button and also please leave a comment in the section below this video. Now, with that being said, let's take a look now at Invest 92L in today's update because this system definitely looks very organized, as you can see, with a lot of feathery white cirrus clouds animating in all directions away from the system, indicating that the system is in a fairly low sheared environment, although there is still a little bit of vertical wind shear out of the westerly direction at around 5 to 10 knots. That is not very strong at all, as you can see by the organization and the continued improvement of outflow in all quadrants, indicating to us that Invest 92L is going to become a tropical storm more than likely and could make a run at a major hurricane as it gets extremely close to Bermuda over the next 7 to 10 days. So with that being said, let's take a look now at our very latest detailed 7-day graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. And there are two areas to watch this afternoon and evening across the main development region of the Atlantic. The first area that we really are going to be talking about mainly is going to be Invest 92L. This has a 90% chance of tropical development. And in fact, I would not be surprised if this gets up to a 100% chance in the 8 o'clock outlook because of how organized this actually is. And they say here, showers and thunderstorms associated with an elongated area of low pressure about midway between the Windward Islands and the Cabo Verde Islands have become much better organized since yesterday. Environmental conditions are conducive for additional development and a tropical depression or storm is likely to form over the next day or two as the system moves generally towards the west-northwest or the northwest at about 10 to 15 miles per hour over the central tropical Atlantic. Additional information on this system, including gale warnings, can be found on high seas forecasts issued by the National Weather Service. And you can see there is a 90% chance that this does become something pretty significant out there in the main development region and the southwestern Atlantic. And then, of course, we have another area that we need to watch here. This has a 20% chance of tropical development, as that is now a tropical wave that has emerged off of Africa this morning. So now, what do the global computer deterministic models have to say, including our AI-based models as well? So with that being said, let's take a look first at the European deterministic model here at the cyclonic relative vorticity at 5,000 feet above the surface. This is showing us how much spin there is in the atmosphere. And this is what we have right here. Wave number one, that's the one that we are keeping a close eye on right here. Wave number one, there is tropical wave number two that has emerged off of Africa. But of course, everyone's interested in what is going on with this tropical wave since it's going to be the strongest of the bunch for the time being. So putting this into motion over the next two days here, this is for Thursday morning, September the 18th. You can see a tropical storm here on the latest European model for the 18th of September, and then this continues to get better organized as we go into day number three for Friday morning on the 19th of September, lurking out there in the middle of the Atlantic, but still certainly a very powerful system here nonetheless, probably a hurricane at this given point in time potentially, or a very strong tropical storm. This is going to continue to get better organized as we go into day four for Saturday morning on the 20th of September. You can see that big ball of red and dark red colors indicating a lot of deep layer spin in the atmosphere, telling us that this is a bona fide system. And then going all the way out to day five for Sunday morning on the first day of autumn, 
And on the first day of autumn, we have a potentially intense hurricane here, possibly a Category 1 or even a Category 2. But the good thing with this one is this is going to avoid Bermuda based on the 12Z European model from today. And you can see it turning out there harmlessly out to sea as a very, very powerful system that is going to eventually become more part of the westerlies down the line in about 10 days. All right. But there are a couple of other tropical waves that we will need to watch closely for, especially out to about, let's go out to about day six. Here is that uh, second tropical wave that emerged off of Africa from this morning. Then there's another tropical wave that comes off of Africa and then another weak signal developing there over the Cabo Verde Islands by the time we go into September 22nd. So the African wave train really trying to line up here and get going. But the question is, will these next two or three tropical waves develop into anything sinister? Nah, there's a 50-50 shot at that happening, and that's because we have a lot of dry air that we will be talking about um, in the next part of this video. Now, looking at the AI-based model here, you can see that the AI does have this developing into a tropical storm and hurricane in about five to six days as this gets a little closer to uh, Bermuda, which is this little small island right there. You can see the little dot that I've highlighted. There is wave number two, and then here is wave number three and additional development thereafter potentially as we go out beyond the 10 day forecast, but those do look to fizzle out all thanks to the stability and some drier and deep layer vertical wind shear that's gonna be in place. Now looking at the GFS model, the GFS model is definitely aggressive. We're getting our 18Z GFS model in right now. And so we won't be able to provide that in today's update since this is gonna be out hopefully by about 3.30 or even earlier. But you can see that Invest 92L does fail to develop for the first four days. So the GFS a little bit more realistic on that. But look what ends up happening. The system really consolidates. And this time, it does hit Bermuda. If I can get a little closer there, you can see the small island right about in here. We're going to put a dot on that so you can follow me very closely on this or in this video there is bermuda and you can see that this gets pretty dang close just to the east of the bermuda island there in about seven to seven and a half days or by the middle of next week on tuesday or even on wednesday the 23rd and the 24th of september but then look what ends up happening we get another system that does try to develop here but of course the gfs model you can't trust anything beyond 10 days out, so that's why I'm, I don't even know why I went beyond 10 days. But here is a 10-day forecast on the GFS showing us there is Gabrielle, likely to become Gabrielle. That's a very likelihood scenario. And then our next tropical wave there, that second one, I believe that is the second one. No, that's not. That's the third one that does try to consolidate in about 10 days, but that is, there's a lot of uncertainty in the modeling for that to occur for this time being. So now let's take a look at our environmental forecast because this is going to be very critical for our 92L tropical wave that we're watching very closely and then additional waves behind that. The big problem that we have had so far this hurricane season is a lot of dry, stable air what we call the Saharan air layer that has been very dominant since pretty much the middle of August after Aaron left the picture and we had Fernand, things got too stable, a lot of vertical wind shear and just the background state really wasn't favorable. Now, finally, things are beginning to change gradually, but not right away. As you can see here with 92L, a lot of vertical wind shear out there, lots of dry air impacting the system. So there is going to be a struggle with 92L on just how much of the dry air and vertical wind shear is going to impact the system. But nonetheless, once it does try to consolidate, it could develop pretty quickly into a formidable hurricane in about five or six days as it gets its moisture pocket wrapped up with lesser vertical wind shear and still a lot of uh, moisture down here 
for additional development from those tropical waves. But there is also going to be a little bit of vertical wind shear and a little bit of drier air that is going to come into the mix. And that is why those next two tropical waves have a lower chance of tropical development for the time being. And as we look out to 10 days here, still a lot of dry air that, this, that, that is going to be plaguing the Atlantic. And that is why I think additional development is going to be pretty low. So let's take a look now at our vertical wind shear. And you can see um, 92L, what is going to become Gabrielle most likely, is going to be dealing with a lot of vertical wind shear here on the order of about 30 to 40 knots over the next few days. But as it kind of is this upper level low here, this little tut pinches down here and the system is able to get yanked around that tut just temporarily, the vertical wind shear is likely going to be decreasing uh, briefly, as you can see here, but not very long before the vertical wind shear does increase yet again because of the very strong westerly um, polar jet and subtropical jet that's going to be uh, cutting across the system and that's why the um the system is going to be weakening gradually as it moves generally off towards the northeast there and gets really impacted by that vertical wind shear so now the big question here is where is invest 92 actually headed for is it going to be impacting bermuda how close is it going to get to the leeward islands there's still a little bit of uncertainty here but most of the model guidance from our spaghetti plot uh, made by Dr. Levi Cowan at tropicaltidbits.com. You can see most of the model guidance does have it over in this general direction. So if you imagine a line here, this could still get very close or on top of Bermuda in about seven to eight days. So keep that in mind. If you're uh, vacationing towards Bermuda over the next week or so, you're definitely going to be watching on Invest 92L as significant development in this general area is certainly a possibility as it runs into more better moisture, lesser vertical wind shear, and higher upper ocean heat content in that general area. And the intensity forecast here, though, while we have a pretty good idea where this is headed, we don't have a good understanding on exactly how strong this is actually going to be getting. Right now, some slight strengthening is expected here over the course of the next couple of days, but due to some of that vertical wind shear and some drier air, some brief weakening would likely occur here before this does get a little bit stronger. And right now, my intensity forecast is more generous right now, and I am not confident that this is going to become a hurricane just yet, and my peak intensity is calling for this to become a 70 mile an hour tropical storm, meaning that Tropical Storm Gabrielle is extremely likely without a doubt at this time, but whether or not does this become a very intense hurricane, uh, a Category 3, Category 4, or a Category 5, that is extremely uncertain. But yeah, our halves A and B models, which are up here, pretty aggressive here, calling this to become a Category 4 hurricane with winds between 135 to 155 miles an hour in about five to six days. Now, when looking at the Statistical Hurricane Intensity Prediction System, known as SHIPS, or short on Invest 92L out there in the Atlantic, so what you're looking at here is basically the maximum potential intensity, the vertical wind shear, sea surface temperatures, moisture, and upper ocean heat content. And basically, right now, vertical wind shear is generally unfavorable over the next two to three days. But after that, vertical wind shear does decrease notably down to about five to ten knots. On top of that, sea surface temperatures are very favorable, around 29 to almost 30 Celsius. And then deep layer moisture as well is very high, a ride around 65 to near 70% in about five to seven days. And on top of that, upper ocean heat content is also elevated. So all in all, the background environment beyond three to four days here, potentially even up to five days, looks pretty favorable between days four and seven. And so when we do take a look at those actual sea surface temperatures right now, boy, oh boy, it is definitely very warm out here where Invest 92L is going to be moving through. Right now, it's pretty much over here and it's going to be turning like this. So it's going to be running into even warmer sea surface temperatures from here on out. And then, of course, in the Caribbean and the Gulf, water temperatures are between about 30 to 31 Celsius or about 86 to 88 degrees in Fahrenheit, which is extremely warm. 
Only the northeastern Gulf right now is cooling off nicely with sea surface temperatures there at around 83 to 84 degrees in Fahrenheit. So water temperatures there have cooled down notably over the last week. So looking at the actual sea surface temperature anomalies here, um, they are definitely well above average across the deep tropical Atlantic, including for the Caribbean and most of the Gulf running above average right now with sea surface temperatures in the subtropical region of Bermuda there running well ahead of where they should be for this time of the year. So overall, sea surface temperature configuration here is quite conducive for the back half of September being quite active with tropics, including for early in the middle of October as well. And just in case if you were curious about what the future state of the Atlantic is going to be looking like between September 24th and October 7th, over the next two to three weeks from the global tropics hazards outlook does highlight that there is a low probability of tropical development here that's pretty much with what we are seeing right now with 92l that's more likely the footprint of 92l that we're looking at and then of course the southern portion of the gulf over the bay of campeche there is a low probability chance of tropical development for both week number two and week number three meaning that there's a lot of uncertainty whether or not will we end out september quite busy in the tropics other than what we are going to be dealing with with 92l and then between october 1st and the 7th the first full week of october we're looking at a low chance of tropical development out here in the main development region including for the bay of campeche as well as the northwestern caribbean meaning like there's not a very likelihood that we are going to see hyperactive activity, and it's going to be low-key. Now, with that being said, if you haven't been here before and you did find today's detailed tropical weather outlook and discussion on Invest 92L very helpful, detailed, informative, and life-saving, please don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already. Please hit the bell notification icon to get daily tropical weather updates, especially on Invest 92L that we'll be talking about in future updates. Please hit that like button and share this video with their family and friends on social media. It really helps out a lot, folks, because I do enjoy talking about the tropics for you all, especially on 92L. So with that being said, thank you all for watching, and I'll be back with you more tomorrow with another update on Invest 92L.